Hey guys, welcome back. We're uh, we're doing peppers today. We've got five kinds of peppers we're gonna plant. I've got some seeds on these trays. I've started to germinate already. Uh, some have germinated, some haven't. Uh, it's been an issue sort of germinating pepper seeds this year. So what we're gonna do is uh, each plate has a certain type of pepper on it. We're going to, I've already got the seed tray in front of me filled here. We got 72 cells like this. Big shout out to Andrew over at Johnny Genetics. If you guys are in Ottawa, go see Andrew over there. Tell him I sent you over. It's the best damn grow shop in the city. He's got everything you need, okay? So moving forward, we are going to be planting Super Shepherds, California Wonders. I'm reading off the plates here. Big Reds. Jalapenos. And Almas. So I've got, I've got seeds in the paper towel here. And I'm just going to do, uh, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to divot a bunch of holes. I'm going to put the individual seeds from each plate into the holes and then here I have all my seed packs for the same seeds and I'm going to double up seeds from these seed packs into those same holes that I've already planted just to double plant to make sure that I get peppers growing because uh, I'm about three weeks behind on where I want it to be with my peppers but I've just been so crazy that unfortunately peppers have been kind of left behind. I've got um, about 150 tomatoes I'm going to do today. I'm not too worried about the tomatoes. They grow super fast. I really don't want three foot tomatoes. I don't want 100 or 150 or whatever three foot tomatoes in the greenhouse. So it's okay if they're a little bit behind because once they take off, they just grow like gangbusters anyways. So I'm starting with peppers because they're a priority and they're really a time-based growth for my plants so um let's get kicking it these are the alma paprika peppers um for you guys that that have been following the channel so what i do is paprika the spice you eat in your kitchen that red powder comes from these peppers they grow about that big and they look like an apple okay they're they're nice looking so what i do is i grow these then I cold smoke them on a custom smoker with apple wood. Then I run them through my dehydrator and then I grind them up in the blender and then you end up with paprika that you cook with in your kitchen. Okay, so some of these have germinated and then other ones haven't yet. I don't know if this camera will pick it up. Okay, you see how swollen that is? Instead of it being flat. So that's gonna pop any second now. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ones that have already germinated and I'm going to plant those and then I'm going to follow that up with the rest of the seeds on here and then in here are my seeds from 2020. I've got a bunch. I'm going to double or triple plant them into here. So that way no matter what we've got peppers growing and I don't care if I have to thin them in the future it doesn't matter as long as I actually have what I need going. So, so we're just going to take our little dibbler. We're going to do 18. So we'll do three rows because there's six in each. So we'll just, like I said, they don't have to be deep. They're just little peppers. Big chunk. You don't want chunks in here. See, that one got past me. Got to break that up. You don't want the seeds to have to fight to get through that, right? So just a little divot. And I won't be showing you guys the divoting for all of them like this. You know, you don't need to see that. But So we'll just get 18 of these ready. And then I'll have the rest of the holes done for the, the rest of the video. Okay, there we go. So now we just take our seeds. So like, for example, 
this little one. You see that little tiny root? So we're just going to take that. Oh, oh, look at that. Stuck to my finger. Get down in there. Just like that. And then we're going to take the next one. We've got another one right there. Going to take that. Plant it in the second hole. Down you go. And then we'll just work our way through and plant these out and find the nice ones, especially the ones that are starting to swell because then you know you're moving forward with those ones. I don't know what it is about peppers this year. It just, uh, I talked to another buddy of mine. I got something to show you guys after too. One of the reasons I'm planting extras, that didn't want to go in there. One, because they're damp and my sticking to my fingers. One of the other reasons I'm planting extra peppers this year is because a friend of mine hooked me up. Uh, a guy from my area, his name's Christopher. I'll keep his name, his last name private because, you know, the internet is a weird place. And uh, he gave me an earthway cedar. Guy even came and dropped it off at my house. And for any of you who garden extensively, you know what I'm talking about. So it kind of looks like a little tiny kid's bike. And then there's a part on the top where you put your seeds in. And you can do all kinds of seeds in it. And all you do is you get the different type of drum for the different type of seed that you're planting. And you can do everything. Right now it's set up to do corn, but I won't be growing corn. But you can buy the attachment for all kinds of stuff. So when you're doing like a large market garden style planting, then uh, you literally just walk down your rows. This thing has a wheel on the front, which runs the gear. Where'd that seat go? It has a, a wheel on the front that runs the gear. And as you walk, it tills a little trench and it deposits your seed one after another in a specific pattern and then it uh and then you just end up with a perfectly planted rose so now that we got those in let's just follow them up with one or two seeds here and like i said these are my seeds so i'm not too worried there we go you know what we're doing we're just literally putting one or two in each like i said before I have no problems thinning plants, but what I do need to make sure of is that the seeds that I do start now actually start, because then I'm going to be way far behind. So, get a couple in each hole. And that's the nice thing about saving your own seeds, because you're never really at a, you don't have to worry about only getting 25 seeds per seed packet. And you're like, ah, do I just put one in each cell? What about if they don't grow? Yada, yada, right? This way, when you have your own seeds, you can be a little more liberal. And you're just going to thin them out at the end of the day. Anyways, so I've got three. I've got three per right now. And then we're just going to cover them up. Like that. Oh, that one didn't go. Uh-oh. That one stuck to my big fat finger. We'll just push that down. No, nope, that ain't even happening. See, guys? Real life filming here. Real life. This is how it is. There we go. Just push him down. And then... So we've got to make sure that that one, especially the ones with the little roots, that they're especially covered up. See? So this potting mix has already been pre-moistened. So it gets, it's a little clumpy, but that's fine. So we just cover that up. Get these down in the hole. 
And once all of the seeds are planted, once they're all planted, the whole tray here, then I'll just water it. So that's it. That's our almas. We're planted there. Next, we're going to do big reds. We're going to do some big reds next. Some of these have started to germinate. Uh, like this little one here. I don't know if you can see the little tiny root on it. And uh, where else? Maybe that's it on this tray. But they're getting swollen, so they're getting ready to crack open. So it's going to be the same as last time. We're literally just going to put them in the soil, use up what I got on here, and then we're going to just double up with seeds out of the package. Oh, this is frustrating. They're soaking wet and they're sticking to my fingers. You almost want a little pair of tweezers or something for this. It's also because I'm working across my body and around a tripod. Because I have just so much room left in the greenhouse. To be honest, guys, I don't even know where I'm going to put all the seedlings that I'm planting this year into this greenhouse. I'm, uh, I'm running out of room. And I haven't even started to up pot or anything. But in the back there is uh, that big zucchini plant. And it's not doing anything for me but putting out male flowers and no female flowers. I'm not sure why. Um, so what I'm going to do is later on this afternoon, I'm going to fertilize everything in the greenhouse. And I'm going to use one of my fertilizers that has a higher um, potassium content. And that way, because potassium is what you want for fruits and flowers. No, sorry, phosphorus. Yeah, potassium and P. Yeah. So um, the plan is is to fertilize everything. So I'm concentrating here. This is silly. The most entertaining video I've ever filmed. Not watching Sean try and unstick pepper seeds from his fingers. So I'm going to fertilize everything today. And I'm hoping that uh, that's part of the problem is maybe things are just running out of steam a little bit. And uh, if I don't get any female flowers in the next couple weeks, then uh, that zoo, those zucchini plants are getting torn out of here and I'll throw them in the trash. Well, I'll, I'll put them in the green bin to compost because those plants are taken up an awful lot of valuable real, real estate. And if they're not going to produce for me, then they're useless. Why keep them in here? Don't need that. So like I did before, I'm dropping two extra seeds in each one of these. And I'm not worried about it because when I ordered my seeds from MI Gardener, I, uh, I bought two packs of everything. So I don't care. And there's what, 50 seeds in a pack. So ain't no thing. Drop them in like that. And so don't forget guys, when you're doing your pepper seeds, peppers are a tropical plant, okay? They prefer the heat. And so when you're germinating your peppers, you gotta keep that soil warm about 85 degrees. If you don't keep it warm, the pepper seeds will not be happy with you and they might not germinate at all or it's gonna take them forever to germinate. So I have a heat mat here beside me. And so once these are all planted, the trays of peppers are going to go onto a heat mat and they'll be kept nice and warm. I'll water it all. I'll be putting a heat dome on top or I'll put a, the dome on top of here to keep the moisture in and keep them nice and warm and these will sprout in short order. 
They better sprout in short order. I'm uh, I'm running out of springtime real fast. So like I said before, small seeds don't have to be planted deep, right? Because they'll run out of steam before they crack the surface. So these are not deep. These are maybe a quarter inch, give or take. So just like that. We'll just stick that there. And those, like I said, those are the big reds. Next, we're going to do jalapenos. I've uh, gone ahead and I've taken all the seeds off the plate and they were wet and they're sticking to my fingers. And then I've replanted every one of these with two extra seeds from my seed pack. Jalapenos, done. Cover those over. I'm looking forward to having lots of jalapenos because I'm going to make uh, cowboy candy and I'm going to make pickled jalapeno rings again this year like I did last year. I did a video on that. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it and you're interested, I've got a video on, I think I did a video on how to make cowboy candy and I definitely made a video on how to make pickled jalapeno rings. So you should, uh, you should go check those out. I have no idea how to put little cards up here in the corner, so you'll just have to scroll back to my videos in the fall. Next we are going to do, uh, what's left? Three, so we're going to do Super Shepherds. I really like Super Shepherds. They grow into like a long, a long pepper, about eight inches long. It's hollow, there's very few seeds, they're great. You cut the end off, you saute up some rice and some onions and some ground beef and stuff. Stuff the peppers, throw them on your barbecue and grill them on your barbecue. Delicious. So we just planted the last of my Super Shepherd seeds. So we'll just fill those in. And this is it for this tray. And then the next tray that I have, I'm going to fill. We're going to do a whole bunch of California Wonder. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'm going to do, maybe 20, something like that. And then I'll just fill the rest of the tray in with other peppers or other, other plants. Because we're at that time of season where I'm essentially just getting everything growing, right? Tomatoes will have their own trays. Um, I might put some eggplant actually beside the, uh, the peppers. Because those eggplants need warm soil too. The eggplants need warm soil as well. So now these are all in. We're going to take my custom seedling waterer here. Super high tech. We're just going to give everything a good water. And then we're going to put a clear dome on top. Like that. Um, hi dog. You're not allowed down here. Shoo, go. Back upstairs. My dog is not allowed in my basement. It's uh, not a dog friendly zone. And uh, someone has left the door open upstairs to the basement. And he's decided he's come down here to come say hi. But he's a big goofy puppy. And I don't need him to um, come stomping around in the greenhouse. So that's it guys. So now I'll just put a dome on here and then this will go onto, uh, onto a heat mat and these will be germinating in no time. So hit that little subscribe button. It's probably up here on your phone somewhere. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment and uh, grow good food. All right, love you guys, see ya.